Rob. Now, he's playing back pre-recorded input that we previously put together uh, painstakingly, frame by frame. And in this case, this run is made by Adelicat. Adelicat went through the trouble of <laughs> doing awesome stuff. <laughs> now, it's an auto-scroller. There's not a whole lot you can do. It's not like you can make it go any faster. So what he did is that. <laughs> um, there's about 10 minutes of this, so. <laughs> now, it is not at all fair to compare what he's doing to anything that a live runner could do. Uh, he used an emulator ahead of time, painstakingly went through in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, he's not doing it right now. I shouldn't even talk. This is just too awesome to watch. Now the robot is showing up. Um, so, <laughs> it's, how do you follow that? Um, okay, what you're seeing here is a combination of things. First of all, uh, he did use Lua scripting. He used a scripting language called Lua in order to make it easier to do things like run around in circles so he didn't have to do all that uh, by hand. He's also playing literally perfect and manipulating enemies in however way he feels, feels like it, basically. Um, you'll see here that uh, as he's moving around, the enemies will respond to him and he knows what's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, it gets better, don't worry. Uh, so, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, this is awesome. It, oh my goodness, we no. desynced. Okay, can somebody go and get my NES? <laughs> um, okay, what you just saw was a desynchronization where the hardware uh, has slightly different timing than the um, run was expecting. This is a really, really common problem, even in the emulator world, where we're running on one version of an emulator, try to play back the same file on another version of the emulator, and it won't synchronize. And what you're seeing here is all of my testing took place on my own personal NES, and uh, the Nintendo here is slightly different timing, just by some chance, and my settings didn't work, so we desynchronized. Take two. All right, take two. What's more with feeling? So Delicat, why don't you take some time to tell people how you did this? All right. Um, actually, I do want to correct um, whoever was speaking a minute ago. Actually, this did not involve Lua scripting because this actually predates the concept of Lua scripting being put into emulators for our purposes. So it was actually a custom uh, hacked uh, emulator that allowed me to create macro files, um, basically combinations of input that I could feed directly into the emulator, um, which is a lot more painful than Lua scripting, and uh, that's how I did it. A Delicat had me switch over to a different emulator called BizHawk for my mushroom cut. Well, it's going to be the next run, actually, to be able to use Lua scripting. As he mentioned, it yes. makes things easier. And basically yeah. what we're doing is what I didn't have for uh, the, the Gradius run. Um, so we had to, had to um, actually uh, had someone custom make a, an FCU version uh, that would allow that. Um, so this run, uh, what inspired me was a uh, run by Mor Morimoto. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it was one of the few runs on the site that kind of showed off inhuman playing, but with a different goal in mind. So instead of speeding the game as fast as possible, he was just showing, you know, superhuman reflexes and how that could be interesting too. Um, and it was an older run and it was kind of out of date and there were some things we could do better, but a lot of people were like, well, how do you, how do you obsolete a run that's just for entertainment value? And so for me, that was kind of a challenge. Oh, no. Why? I saw it why? There for a second. Yeah, why? It's, uh, we ran this literally, what, is it, it is running times? under these cables, I don't know. Yeah, that is a, po oh, oh dear. That might not be helping. Uh, we're going to abandon Gradius again, sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh...